Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We're back, we're back. Uh, just before the break, we were talking about patience. So during the break, did you take a few deep breaths? Did you relax? Did you allow yourself to just be in the moment? Did you focus on just one thing? Did you, did you just do one task? Yes. You only had one thing to do. Yep. That was put the kettle on and exactly. make some tea. Exactly. That was it. We know that, but what is it? A watch kettle never, a watch kettle never boils. Stay at the cooker. S yeah, watch the microwave. <laughs> Look at the microwave. <laughs> but it is about just being in the moment, not thinking, I think, when the, well, mind you, you know, I, I, I nearly said, did you get a sense of relief when we went off screen? <laughs> but actually, yes, most people do. <laughs> Probably did. They do. But it's yeah. amazing, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, you know, how frustrated as a kid used to get when the adverts were on. Oh, I know. You know what I mean? I it's know. incredible. And but actually now it's just, just, no, just relax. Just relax. Relax. I was thinking during the break about, um, do you remember when we went to see Manchester United? I do remember that. And we took uh, two of the kids, well, or several of the children, but we yes. happened to have my two in your car. Yes. I think yours were in another car. Yes. And uh, we were driving back and we were coming across the M62 and all of a sudden the M62 changed from a motorway to a car park. Yes, it did. And it took us like four hours yeah. to get home. Yep. And just the other day, Child number one went, do you remember when we went to see uh, Manchester United play and then we were coming back and we got caught for four hours? I went, yes, I do. He went, brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah. He loved he it. He loved it. Yeah. Because we were talking, we had a yep. right laugh, yep. we got Chris and drink, because really, yeah. you and I had so much to say, oh, well, we you, let's have a laugh. But also it was because we were in my car and I've and got a DVD DVD player. and we all watched that. <laughs> we watched a Star Trek movie. We watched a Star Trek movie. Other science fiction movies are, are, are available. <laughs> nothing like that, nothing like. But he has such fond <laughs> memories of that where I just think, oh my God, we were stuck for four hours. I and know. he's like, no, it was brilliant. It was great. Because he was in the moment and he enjoyed it. Yeah. That's what we need that. to do. So, did you make yourself wait during that break? Did you make yourself wait? Did you? Do you know mm. what? Give yourself the extra minutes. Just give yourself that time. Yeah. Just take a deep breath, relax, just be with it. What, what's, you know, what's the worst thing that can happen? Mm. Yeah, the worst thing, the worst thing that can happen is that you can feel calm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know? And you might even enjoy it just, just for that moment. <laughs> <coughs> My goodness, Survival. slow down, take it easy. It could help you enjoy the little things in life and help you reduce stress as well, which has to be a good thing. This is because you'd rather be calmer and less restless. You'd rather be that way. We're naturally inclined to actually sit and be calm. It's just the stresses of nowadays that put us in a situation where we don't feel like that. So patience, I suppose, is, is kind of a three types. The first one, well, that's patience upon obedience. In other words, to be patient when finding it hard, obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's rules. <sighs> to be patient when a trouble befalls you. Mm. When, when something happens beyond your control and it is troubling, just be patient. Mm. And then the third one is to be patient when finding it hard to abstain from certain sins. Yep. Every believer should have the above types of patience, these, these, these three types of patience. The Prophet, peace be upon him, mentioned in the Hadith that patience is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hastiness, well, that's from the devil, that's from shaitan. The first type of patience is when you're obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and finding it difficult, uh, difficult to do so. You know, so for example, when we have to wake up for Fajr prayers, yeah? I remember a good friend of mine saying, we don't have to wake up for Fajr prayers. <laughs> We get to wake up for Fajr prayers. Mm. What a different attitude. Yeah. Do you know who that friend was? I think that might have been. It was you, <laughs> sir. It was you, chance. sir. Are you quoting yeah, the absolutely the you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we don't true. have to wake up for Fajr. We get, we get to, to wake we get up for Fajr. To do and it just changes your whole approach. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Subhanallah. Mm. So, um, uh, you know, when, when, when called to be patient mm. we should be patient and ha patience helps us to show our gratitude when we're carrying out uh, deeds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to carry out yes and then that that second type of patience well that's it's when a trouble befalls you when something happens something that is frustrating and can create restlessness and, uh, and make us feel frustrated uh, if, if, if a if I don't know, your vehicle breaks down or you have an accident or you know you lose something and you're spending time looking for it well even at these times we need to be patient i'm reminded again of when we were coming back from birmingham okay and your car 
decided to rather than have four round tyres, yes, it only had three. Yes, and the and other one went a little flat. one square one. <laughs> <laughs> And do you remember where it went flat? Oh my, it was in the middle of the motorway. It was on, it was on a smart motorway. Yes. On yeah. the inside lane. Yes. But it was a moving lane. It was a moving lane. There was no yeah. uh, hard shoulder. And there was no hard shoulder. And they always say, get out of your car yeah. and get off the motorway. Yes. So we, we climbed <laughs> we, up, up we onto a wall, didn't we? <laughs> and what was at the other side of that wall? About a 60 foot drop. 60 foot <laughs> drop onto a railway line. Yes. And I was thinking, you know, Good advice, yeah, good advice, brilliant. thank this, you. This is brilliant. But, mm, and well, we, we it's not actually working. caused a motorway sign to change. We did. We did. Here they put a big, a big X. Yes. A red yes. X it did. above. It did. But do you know when did we, we were waiting? Did we get frustrated? When we were waiting for the for the uh, the chaps to come and and <laughs> come and get us, yeah, and take us off the motorway. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't get no. impatient. We're totally you chilled. Know? I just, I just stood there and thinking, this is all part of a last plan. Alice wanted uh, I to be here for some reason. I, I was meant to get home uh, a couple of hours later than I had planned for whatever yes. reason. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, you just sit with it and go with it. And, exactly. You know, you just, just say, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And, you know, this, is, this is a reminder of how little control we have. Yep. So even during these times, even during these times, we should be patient even at these times. The third type of patience is when we find it difficult to abstain from sin. Mm. Janaid, I mm. found that difficult at times. Mm -hmm. We all have. Yeah. Yeah, we all have. We're all human beings and we're all frail. Yeah. And we, we all have, uh, we have our nafs. Yeah. We have, you know, we have things that we need to get over. But you I've know, been confronted by jam and cream donuts when I'm on a diet. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I, I was tempted to put the jam on first and then the cream on top once. And th is that not you mean a the sin? Correct way. You mean the correct way to, put a, to, 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 to manufacture a scone? I was tempted to put milk in the tea before the, the hot water. Oh, a bit, a, a bit miff. Oh, milk in first. Um, oh, man, can't do that, can't do that. But you know, if, if for example, uh, for example, uh, another example is when uh, we, we're not supposed to listen to music and yeah. we really want to listen to it, you know, yes. th it's, it's something that we have to <coughs> try and exercise patience to, to, to mm -hmm. get over and learn to, uh, to, ha to perhaps live without, you know? Yes, yeah. yeah. And, and being, per being patient, it's actually, as we've been saying, it's a great virtue. In other words, it's something good, it's virtuous. Uh, and therefore, it comes with great reward. Yep. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Say, O Prophet, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O my servants who believe, be mindful of your Lord. Those who do good in this world will have a good reward. And Allah's earth is spacious. Only those who endure patiently will be given their reward without limit. This is chapter 39, uh, verse 10 of the Quran. Patience in Islam means that you speak and act upon the truth and you bear the hardships that result in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without deviation, without weakness or without giving up. Hmm. Our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, used to supplicate, O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from incapacity, laziness, cowardice, miserliness, worry, sadness, overwhelming debt and being overpowering by other men. This is uh, related in Bakari, Bakari and Muslim. Just imagine that. I seek refuge in Allah mm. from incapacity, laziness. Laziness. So, subhanAllah. Mm -hmm. Like laziness in the, is, is second on the list where losing a leg is, is, is number one. <laughs> I mean, yes. Come on. Yeah. This is, this is, this is subhanAllah. Yes. SubhanAllah. Yes. Inability to walk. <laughs> Laziness. Laziness. Wow. <laughs> Subhanallah. Commanding patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, you will certainly be put to test mm. in respect of your properties and lives. Mm -hmm. And you will certainly hear many hurtful things from those who were granted the book before you and those who have associated others with Allah in his divinity. If you remain patient and God-fearing, this indeed is a matter of great resolution. Mm. So even when people are going at you mm. for your beliefs, mm. remain patient with them. Mm. It's a virtuous thing. And this is the Quran 
chapter 3, verse 186. Mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will certainly put on us trial with many forms of hardship. We might lose our job, we could witness the, the death, we could lose somebody that's incredibly uh, special to us, we could suffer in health, all of which could provoke a natural response of anxiety or grief within us. Um, this is when we're, we're tested with patience because these tests are definitely going to happen whether we like it or not. It's up to us to respond in a positive way or not. I know we've said before, you know, um, there's always people who have things more, more difficult than us. I mean, we're talking about, um, uh, you know, a, a, a slow internet yeah. or, or, you know, or, or, or what it was like when we, when we had videos. Yep. You know, my grandparents lived in a time when they didn't. That's right. My grandparents lived through two world wars. Yep. Two world wars. Yep. We talk about loss, ill health. Think about that. Oh, my goodness. You know, I would like to think they did so with patience. It's extraordinary. Yeah, we, we, we need to recognise that all of these things are going to be put on us. We are going to be tested. Things will happen. It's how we respond that is important. Absolutely is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we will surely test you with something of fear, hunger, loss of wealth, loss of lives mm. and fruits. But give glad tidings to the patient. Those who, when afflicted by a calamity, say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Indeed, to Allah we all belong, and to Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will all return. And this is the Quran, chapter 2, verses 155 to 156. Mm. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, <clears throat> Do people think they will be left alone to say, We have faith, and they will not be put to trial? We have surely tested those before them. Allah will make evidence those who are truthful, and he will make evidence those who are liars. This is the Quran, uh, chapter 29, verses both 2 and 3. This enables us to realise the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over us, and the opportunity for us to submit and have complete servitude towards him. Uh, the good lady's reading um, an autobiography, mm -hmm. and it's of um, uh, Ruth, Ruth Boehner Ginsburg. Okay. Uh, the, the, uh, 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 an incredible lady who served on the Supreme Court of Justice in America, yep. and did loads of things. A Jewish lady, a yep. lady of Jewish faith. Yep. Um, and you know, she recounts times of incredible trouble. Yeah. And it's just fascinating when you read things like that, and you think, yeah, you've got to have faith. And she, she, she recounted a time during the World Wars, you know, and this is in America, so, you know, they, saw, they thought the wars were a bit shorter than they actually were, but yeah. never mind. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. you know, her friends were talking about the fact that, ah, oh, sweets are really expensive. So she wrote about the Ten Commandments. Yeah. And how Moses came down from the mountain, down, down from the mountain with Ten Commandments, yeah. you know, casting stone yeah. on these tablets, and said, "Would would life not be a bit better if we focused on these rather yeah. than the price of sweets?" Absolutely, Have Subhanallah. faith. You know, Have faith. We should respond uh, to these tests and these trials with an optimistic spirit. Come on, we should all have good thoughts and good assumptions about what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, is is doing. And we should strive to obey him inwardly and outwardly. You know, if we lose our job, for example, we should assume Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala closed this door because he's going to open a better door for us mm -hmm. or sooner uh, or later. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a famous story about the chap who was going for a promotion mm. and he uh, was going, it was a big promotion and he was <coughs> so looking forward to it and he was the one that was going to get this job. Mm. He had absolutely all faith yeah. that it was his. Yes. Unfortunately, he didn't get the job. Yeah. Somebody else got it mm -hmm. and he was so disheartened yep. and so upset and so put out that he thought about leaving, leaving mm. this, uh, this company and going and working somewhere else. Mm. Well, what he found out later is that that job would have put him on to the 42nd floor of tower number one wow. of the Twin Towers. Yeah. So not getting that job actually saved his life. Mm. And this is where you have to trust in Allah's plan yep. because Allah is all-knowing, all-wise, mm -hmm. and maybe some things happen that are better for you 
when actually you just perceive it not. Yes, absolutely you know? so. You know, if, 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 if one of us experiences a, a, a decline in health, if we're not feeling very well, we should assume then that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us the opportunity to atone maybe for, for some of our sins, even seeing ill health in a positive light. One of the best thought patterns to adopt in this regard is to remember everything that happens to a believer is good as long as he or she retains strong imam. Absolutely. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, If Allah intends good for his servant, he hastens the punishment for him in this mm. world. So, you know, if you feel that you are being punished in this world, it's simply because Allah has determined that he wants to reward you in the hereafter. Wow. Inshallah. Subhanallah. Our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, The believing men and women continue to experience trials in their lives, their children, and their wealth until they meet Allah without any sin. This is recounted in Tarmidhi. Aisha radiallahu anhu said, if the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, saw something he liked, he would say, all praise is due to Allah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. By whose favor good deeds are accomplished. If, however, he, peace and blessings be upon him, saw something he disliked, he would say, all praise is due to Allah mm. in every circumstance. And this is recorded in Hadith, mm. Alhamdulillah. Beautiful. Um, the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, it, it's recounted that he once passed by a woman who was weeping next to a grave and he said to her, be mindful of Allah and be patient. She said to him, Go away from me. You've not been afflicted by a calamity, not like me, because she didn't recognise who he was. Later, she was told that it was actually the Prophet, peace be upon him. So she went to his house and she said, I did not recognise you. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said to her, Verily, patience is at the first strike. Again, this is recorded in Hadith. Wow. wow. Uh, again, and it's such a powerful message. Mm -hmm. You know, we learn from this hadith that the sensitivity of uh, our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, and his emotional intelligence not to rebuke the lady mm -hmm. when she was at her lowest point, despite her being disrespectful towards him. We should likewise try to emulate this character and show compassion and empathy to people who are suffering and overlook their faults because in such a situation it's difficult to behave with the best of manners. Mm. Also we learn here that true patience, well it's to be patient in the instant that a calamity occurs. This is the reason why we need to prepare for any calamities that may befall upon us through spiritual practices like prayer, reflection and the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah promises a tremendous reward for those who can show patience at the first strike. In uh, another hadith, our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah Almighty says, O son of Adam, if you are patient and restrained at the first moment of calamity, I would not be pleased with any reward for you less than paradise. Mm. Subhanallah, be patient mm. at the first sign of of something bad. Paradise. Paradise. Subhanallah. Another important component, component of beautiful patience is to complain only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not to people. Complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means to be in conversation with him in prayer and supplication, pouring our hearts out to him in a healthy emotional catharsis. In contrast, complaining to other people can never fill the spiritual void in the same way as complaining to Allah, our creator. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, whoever is afflicted by pressing need and complains to people, his need will never be satisfied. Whoever is afflicted by a pressing need and complains to Allah, eventually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide for him sooner or later. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises us that our tough times will not last forever. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, verily, with hardship comes ease. With hardship comes ease. Mm. And this is the Quran, chapter 94, verses 5 and 6. I'm going to say, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the strength and the strong imam to, to practice patience, uh, whatever and whenever a calamity befalls us, 
and remind us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always, he's always got good things in store for us. Inshallah. That's the end of tonight's show. Assalamu alaikum. Wa barakatuh.